Welcome. So here we go. What I have here is y equals 2x minus 1. And then I have 3x minus y equals negative 1. So when applying substitution to solve our system of equations, the main important thing is I want to have a variable, just one variable, isolated. And what's helpful about this equation or this system is I already have a variable isolated. I have my y variable isolated. So what that's saying is the value of y is equal to 2 times x minus 1. So that means y and 2x minus 1 are equal to each other, right? I can, sub I can use either or. It doesn't matter if I say y or 2x minus 1. They're equal to each other. So I can apply either one, and it's going to be the same thing. So what I'm going to do is once I have a variable isolated, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the value of that variable and place it in for the variable in the other equation. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I could take the value of y, which is 2x minus 1, and I'm going to replace it in for y in the other equation. So it's going to look like this. 3x minus 2x, not just y, but minus 2x minus, minus 1 equals negative 1. All right, so what you can see is what I did is I replaced the value of y in for x expression 2x minus 1. The reason why I do this is because now you can see this equation only has my x variable. And I can solve a linear equation when I have two x's, as long as they're the like terms, I can now solve this. So to, to finish this problem off, I need to find the value of x. Well, I can do that by applying my um, simplified term. So I'm going to apply distributive property here first. So I have 3x minus 2x plus 1 equals negative 1. Now I can combine my lit terms. 3x minus 2x is going to be x plus 1 equals negative 1. Then I'll subtract 1 on both sides. So therefore, the value of x is equal to negative 2. And what that means is the value of x is the solution for the value of x. x is going to be true for both of these equations. But now I need to find the value of y. Now, you can plug in x in for either one of these equations and solve for y. But what's nice about substitution is we already have a variable that's isolated. So if I already know the value of x and I just want to find the value of y, I'm going to take the equation y equals 2x minus 1, and I'm going to plug in the value of x that works for that equation. So it'd be, so it'd be y equals 2 times negative 2, because that's the value of x that makes this equation, makes this system true. Then I have y equals negative 4 minus 1, y equals negative 5. So my solution is x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 5. And I'll show you this for one example. Um, and then I'm not going to do this for all of them so you can see. But what this states is when x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 5, those are going to make this system true, meaning it's going to be true for both of these equations. And let's go ahead and prove it to make sure that we did our algebra correct. So if I put a negative 5 in for y, and I say that equals 2 times negative 2 in for x and then minus 1. If, that e if that's going to be true, then I know that at net x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 5 is true for the first equation. Well, this is negative 5, negative 4 minus 1, negative 5 equals negative 5. So we know these two values are true for the first equation. Let's see if they're going to be true for the second equation. So I'll do 3 times x, which is negative 2 minus negative 5. equals negative 1. All right, well, 3 times negative 2 is going to be a negative 6 minus a negative 5 is positive 5 equals negative 1. Negative 1 equals negative 1. Therefore, when I plug in x and for y into both these equations, it makes it true. So therefore, that is your solution by the substitution method. Thanks.